So many, many, many of you guys requested this. And from what I've learned from previous shows, if a lot of you guys are requesting it, 99.9% .9 of the time, it means it's either right up my alley and or a banger. So I'm way too excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy, Darius. Now, before we get into this episode of Tokyo Revengers, I just want to let you guys know two things. One, it's super early in the morning, so if I seem a little groggy or if it takes me a little second to wake up, I'm sure you guys have been there as well. Anime, cartoons, first thing in the morning. Can't beat that, especially it's Saturday. Today is actually Saturday morning cartoons. It used to be the best thing in the world. But second thing is, if you guys see me rubbing my eyes or my nose at all, my allergies are roundhouse kicking me in the ass today. So just thought I'd let you guys know that just in case. But when it comes to this show, I am very excited. I really know nothing about the actual plot or the premise of the show. I only know some of the controversy that's been around this show. I will let you guys know for everyone who's been wondering, I am going to be watching the uncensored one. I was going to watch the censored one because I thought, I know they were uh, censoring, I forget the exact name of the symbol, but it, it resembles a swastika. So people who are ignorant or unaware, because it definitely has other meanings. And I'm going to learn obviously more about that as we go through and stuff like that I, I love learning historical context of the shows and the, and the and the way they were created but i assumed that the censored version would just blur it out like let's say the logo is right here or anything let's say gone was the logo it would just literally be a blurred little box right here and you just wouldn't be able to see it but from what i've heard is that they do other methods of censoring it like if if gone was the logo they would make the lights over here super bright so it just shines over here so you can't see it so it really does distort the rest of the scene sometimes so that's what i've been told so that's why i'm watching the uncensored version with the first and last episode of every season of every show we watch in the channel the full length which is normally available on patreon is available for free so make sure you guys check that out links in the description come back here for the review if you guys enjoy that check out patreon for further all that jazz remember to follow me on all social medias all the plugs all the plugs all the plugs we do have a p.o box now too guys like i said i know nothing so i can't really even talk about the show what i think about it anything like that because i really know nothing uh that's let's hop right on into it i'm just super excited tokyo revengers season one episode one first episode is called reborn let's do it so we have my bedroom in high school in otaku's paradise <laughs> manji gang Does he know this character? I need to know more. Tokyo Revengers. Okay. Episode 1 Reborn. Old high old middle school relationship. Up and now she's dead. And he's a virgin. Oh man, my guy is going through it. I know how you feel, my man. No way someone's going to push him off the track, right? This is an actual thing that happens, and this is horribly... Huh? Eww. Really? Why would he think of his middle school girlfriend? Yeah. Right before your death? I've always wondered. okay i'm sorry i'm just a little confused so this episode is actually called reborn and our main guy takemichi whose peak in his life was a second year gang throughout middle school has somehow been pushed off the train tracks murdered essentially and reborn with the same name as my thing. So, like, it's already a pre-established life. But he's back with the same gang? Oh, what is going on? Oh, yes. Look at a mirror. Hopefully, you can confuse yourself and give me some answers. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I only differentiated them so much because of the hair. Blonde hair, especially in Japan and anime, is so different from black and brown hair. But 
this is actually him just with a different hairstyle and hair color obviously because he was a delinquent as they say when you get your hair dyed in japan but so he gets to redo his life or he gets to go back like i've always thought if i could go back in time and do my life again what would i do differently i'm so curious 2005 so he physically went back in time give me the current date so i want to know one two three 12 years ago so he's from 2017 okay so our cousin's the leader of a third year gang so he's the leader of the third years right the cousin masaru so we're going to pick a fight with the second years being uh in a gang in middle school during school would be crazy every insult acts like it questions your manhood you know man old school takamichi he's like he's not he can't even picture himself being like this you know because it's so long ago i do like their fits though they have drip i won't lie i know shit is moving real fast okay i can't lie this is very realistically done because 12 years is a very significant time i have issues remembering specific events and moments that have happened in my high school when i talk to my friends about it and that was i graduated in 2015 that was six years ago so let's go back even further than that let's say i'm in 2017 so i'm 19 years old and we go back to 2005 no i'll be 11 or 9 no 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 not even no 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 i completely understand where my man's coming from it would be a blurry mess i do remember something like this happening what what, what did i do though yeah you're an adult now who hasn't you know oh he remembers them getting their ass whooped back in the day oh lord year older they're the real deal real delinquents not us fake wannabe type shits you know to line up yeah he sure is the leader of uh the third years all right i know people like this we're actually hung out with people like this yeah Oh man, this is out with the tree dividing them. I love the shots in this so far. This is this is gonna be insane. Was there Aaron boy? Oh wow, how life, how looking back on life differs from what you thought back then. Yep, that's how that's how cousins do. I know I have cousins exactly like that. While Masaru is going to buy them drinks, they're getting their ass whooped. Manji, isn't that the name of the symbol that I was talking about during the censorship? The Manji? The Manji game, soldiers. Okay. Damn, bro. There's a saying, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, but if you really go out looking for a fight, you shouldn't be surprised when you get in a little over over your head, you know? The Tokyo Manji game. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. This is where we started to differentiate. Yep, and then he started to turn into an actual adult. That really does happen. Nothing went right. Had multiple jobs. He would just apologize since that day. His hair started getting longer. He stopped dyeing it. He spent his whole life apologizing after that moment. This is where it all started. Bro, being reborn to this exact fork in the road of where... Uh. I can tell why you guys would tell me I like the premise of this. That's that's Hinata. Tachibana, isn't it? Manji gang, I'm now putting the pieces together. It's because of these fuckwits. Oh. And that was when you peaked? That's nah. Nah. That's not how you're gonna nah. I like this. I really like this concept so far. This is crazy.
Gonna go say hi real quick, pay her a visit. She seems very nice so far. I know, I don't know what it specifically is, but somebody. Yeah, it's probably a number of things. I don't know. That, that would be mentally a lot to process. You. This was what you call the peak of your life. At least the moments before this particular beatdown. So you have a lot of very intense emotions when it comes to this area of your life because this is where it deviated into a different course. You consider your only girlfriend and from what it seems like one of the nicest people you've ever met and have treated you is an innocent victim of the upcoming Manji gang that you're a part of now. I can totally tell where this is going. I vaguely now remembering people saying that this is somewhat like erased and i can totally see it now and i love erased so i'm i can totally tell i'm gonna really dig this but such an interesting concept someone that and i don't think he truly realized i mean he definitely does care about her but he's crying because like probably it's so many emotions just hitting him at once like why is he crying but it's like this is this is actually very deep like to it's not just saving the innocent. It's not just fixing your life. It's a it's a very good mix of the both when it comes to an existential crisis, a midlife crisis, and then actually fixing that for yourself, but doing that also for the others. It's it's crazy. It's, I, I'm trying to even process this, and I'm having issues. I like her, though, so far. Aw. Because at this point, they are together, right? Yeah, strong-willed. That's, that's I was going to say aggressive, but no. Strong-willed. I love it. Look at him. Oh. Bye-bye. She's going to be the catalyst for you making it different, right? Changing this. Cause you're not going to let the same things play out. <laughs> He's trying to have an anime reflection moment. <laughs> Give him some tips. Give him some pointers. True. If you... <laughs> He's like Rock Lee. <laughs> if you take it, though, you're just giving him permission to to keep going he's gonna be a delinquent for good now and i don't know how i feel about that i'm really interested tachibana what's up tachibana yep told you a lot of emotions hitting him all at once i feel my man you're gonna be a delinquent for good though i love it i'm here for it I would also probably be thinking that as well. Yeah, don't tell him she dies in the future. That would not be good. Wow. Instant change in face. Are, are, are we going to be the fucking time traveling future gang, me and Naoto over here? Nah, he seemed like he took this a little seriously. He, he, he seemed like he. Yes. That's what I want to hear. Takemichi and, Na and uh, Naoto. These are my fucking boys right here, I can tell. I can already tell I'm gonna like them a lot. Ooh. Did we go back to the future? We did. What happened? How did we survive a train accident? Naoto? I didn't think we were going to get a direct after the fact, like immediately, like a direct change confirmation. 
Okay, maybe the show is not what I was thinking at all. Maybe it's completely different. <laughs> I was thinking one thing, it's definitely not this. Oh, wow, he took that very serious. That's my man. Uh, I feel, I still feel like she died. It's gonna be one of those, like, yep. It's gonna be like, we're gonna go off the back in time multiple times to figure out what is specifically causing this, what's going on. It's like a re-zero erase type. Oh my God, this show's gonna be fire, I can tell. Give me one good animated fight that shows S tier already. You already did it with Naoto. Already have saved his life, so it's, and he saved your life in return for the uh. <laughs> okay, so for an introduction episode, that sure was something. Wowzers! I want it like normally a lot of introduction episodes give you that crazy hook to like shock you like oh and like yes i was absolutely shocked this was more like interesting premise and more interesting info than anything like i'm just like like it's so it's so crazy like it's probably the same way i felt watching erase so i totally understand why people say it would give you the same feels i probably was thinking the same thing looking back on it watching erase but man it, i'm really digging the concept and i really enjoy the fact that it's like this this feeling of like buried attraction, buried love that that is you know that's recoming to the surface and it's it's stronger than ever. It's like it's like when you see an old high school buddy that you really were good friends with, you haven't talked to in like ten years, and then as soon as you go out like one night, you know, get some drinks or something together, you guys realize you're like, damn, we were homies back then. We had some, sh you know, it's like you didn't realize how much she cared for her you know how amazing she was as a girlfriend as a sister as a person as a schoolmate and he was like I, I really like that saying he said i think this is god just letting me see her one last time you know before she dies you know in our present time but you when it comes to existential powers like this you always wonder what it is because it's no there is no set thing i don't even remember if it gets answered and erased like it just seems like it's sort of the same thing like i was given this power i was i was sent in this on this mission to protect this person there's no answers to that it never goes deeper i i would like to know more but i also don't because it's like you know like whatever the powers may be up there we fail to understand them we're ignorant down here and that's just something it's just, it's just a crazy concept to me this whole show and i'm very interested in it i'm very much liking our main character takemichi i'm very much liking naoto as well very serious heartfelt dudes up front you know so interesting this is so interesting i do i'm pretty sure is it the manji that's the name of the symbol i'm pretty sure the gang is the manji i mean i know the gang that they're joining is the manji gang oh man i don't know i just gotta keep watching i'm about to watch this next episode i can't lie this shit was really good if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below like always all that jazz check out patreon if you guys want early access don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes thank you so much Dapper squad i will see you on this next episode peace out